Howdy everyone, welcome to the Vegas Olympics. Today we're playing tennis, we're playing for $40,000 total. This is one of the first events that we're playing. We're gonna be playing a lot more games, but right now we gotta go win some tennis matches. Let's go. Oh my god, that was the best point of the tournament thus far, man. Oh, it's 1 1. I exhausted myself too much on the first game. I'm fucking dying. Oh! <laughs> you and him are the two best tennis players on this bracket? Yeah, it's, it's between us. Oh! oh. oh. There's no taking a minute break after every point. That's Kane Callis, I stakes professional poker player and uh... He uh, sings good. We'll call him the ringleader. He keeps this joint running spick and span, but he does have motives for Dylan to be exhausted. He's playing him next. Oh. match it's like fucking good we're both playing like <laughs> just make the other guy run and die from endurance great battle man <laughs> what's up guys i'm kane callis i used to be a professional poker player for a long time did that for about a decade won the uh what 2.2 million dollar cash game pot in the triton versus jason coon 2.27 2.27 excuse me, me. Oh. that seemed pretty aggressive from jason coon I've been doing the Vegas Olympics now for 10 years. Every year there's teams of four, and we either get two, three, or four teams of uh, four people. This year we actually got five teams for the first time. How do you pick the events? Yeah, so there's about a list of uh, 25 to 30 events. You can find it on VegasOlympics.com, what the events are. We all vote on what events we want to see get more raffles. And to what age do you think you'll host the Vegas Olympics? I'm planning on hosting it as long as I come to Vegas for the World Series of Poker. And I'm not I'm not planning on stopping coming to Vegas for the World Series of Poker anytime soon. We're playing bocce ball today. We got Pav. He's going to be playing against my buddy Joe, who apparently has a bocce court in his backyard. How many points total did you get during tennis for your team? Zero. We lost, we lost all of our game. game. Wait, who else is on your team? That's a good question. Leading the team is All In Pav, aka Maverick. He's did sit on that 40k. Cool head Aaron, as his friends call him, or as we like to, the Iceman! Steve. Hangman. Holy shit, he scares the hell out of me. Brian. Very easy. Whatever. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's Rooster! Yeah, <laughs> like the fucking movie! Where'd you get a tape measure? <laughs> it came with it. Oh, really? Next closest. So the red ball uh, cancels out what any the of the other game? Balls. Doesn't this have way too many rules for the game that's played by a drunk old man on the lawn? Throw your balls close to the white ball. Okay, four, four, four balls from you close to the opponent, four points. First of 12 wins. Let's get Bocce to rumble! This is a point. Oh. <laughs> What's the score? 10-6 ten, ten for me. Uh, in what? In cornhole. Really fun they game. Play it on the SPN. He knows it goes up top and hits it! What a shot by Clint! Oh yeah, I like the camera. <laughs> It has an intense match, I gotta go back. No. Definitely warm. Yeah. Doesn't get much more clutch than this. That's game? Yeah. Is it game, bro? Yeah, because he threw all this. Oh, is it game? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> created this game. <laughs> I honestly feel like I'm good at this game as well. So it's bothering me. I want to play more. It's actually yeah. really fun. When 21 7, he started up like 5 0, but um, my left arm just. Uh, 
went to beast mode. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna play him again in some other sport and we hate each other. I was in the tag team with Michael. He disappointed me, he got no chips, and now I'm gonna play him in cornhole. My parents immigrated all the way from Lebanon for me to come beat this American in his own game. I've been drinking beer and playing cornhole since I was <laughs> right fresh out of high school. So you get when you get in the hole, what is the point? He gets three points deducted by whatever I have on the board. It just feels good. So <laughs> Leave this rig. What is going on? Dude, he's hacking. It's like modern day car and feathering. 21? Oh no, I got two. I got six points at the end. It's actually 25. So he, so he, he busted. He's got to go back to 11. Bocce. Yeah, I've, I've watched a lot of videos about this game for like one minute earlier today. When I place the ball in my hand. Comeback story. Uh, Comeback story of the year. Great ball. Yeah. Let's go. Come back, dude. Big shot. Twelve from tip to tip. Eleven versus eleven. And a half. Yeah, yeah. It's like mine is clearly All further. Right. <laughs> well, clearly. Come on. Ben has sacrificed his last three yeah, balls yeah, to get yeah. one point. Yeah. Yeah. So he got. Wow, one. good strategy. Oh. Uh, yeah. That's GG. You did, you did. Oh, he's a bowler. I'm not. Yeah. We won. Yeah. Oh! oh! What the fuck? Okay. <laughs> yeah. What an end. What a fucking end. <laughs> One, two, three, two. What are you pulling for in this match? I got the game. I can't. <laughs> I see who Glad I didn't take two to one. <laughs> Torch it at the end. He got into the groove. You lost a cock in the finals. We need this. We don't have a single win in anything, so it means a lot. Our name is the tryhards, or just like the fucking failure boys. Okay. That's it. <laughs> win, man. I knew that Merm had it in him. He was mm -hmm. clearly giving me those bocce vibes. So. You got more money riding on the bocce than the whole thing. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Compared to the other teams, like they, they've wiped some some games completely. So we're probably in like fourth or third place. Definitely in not doing too well. Man on a mission. This was a very big moment for Team Tryhards. They needed to perform well in axoing on day one to have any chance at $40,000. And Pav delivered. We tryhards, we got on top of the Pav train, we rode that to Axe Town, man, and, and we are still in the game. We have not lost. We can still win $40,000. Up against Tamer, who is actually really good at soccer. I'm pretty decent, but like not at his level. I'm gonna have to contain him as much as I can. Mm -hmm. But then we are up against a professional goalkeeper. And, Wait, uh, goalie? Who's yeah, the goalie? Sean. Look at him, look at this guy. He has gloves, he came fucking ready. He has gloves? Yeah. Oh, I do play the pokers. <laughs> also, I'm a professional goalie for Dallas FC. I think I'm gonna film from the sidelines because I can't be in the field to play. Of course. <laughs> but I could be in the field, bro. I could be in the field. I, I'm still running. I'm still running. Do you want amphetamines? Do you want some I got, I got acid? My, my
Who's calling the penalties? <laughs> We need to sign a ref. Interestingly, a $40,000 competition had no referees, but with my experience officiating toddlers, I took over that responsibility for future games. Sean, Sean, Sean. I touched the ball first. Okay, Sean is ref from now on. Sean is the new referee. <laughs> Soccer's not like basketball. No buzzer beaters in soccer. <sighs> you guys are doing good. Tamar's rusty. He's not as good. He's still the best I know. I know. Yeah, yeah, it's true. Play? The Mets yeah. are out of play. Yeah. Then there's no slide tackling. Yeah, you're gonna have a clean, fair game. <laughs> fair boys. Oh, yeah! <laughs> good block. Knock you out for a second time in a tournament. <laughs> just this trip. <laughs> well, our team was good at defense, but like they yeah. can't control. So it's and you hard. just got tired. Yeah. It's well, way too big. You're supposed to play six on six or seven yeah, on seven. for the most important game with ball. You see, when I was in Lebanon as a child, we had many courts in our backyard. So I've had a lot of practice. Yeah, none of that is fucking real. We played with rocks. I mean, I did swing at rocks with a stick. Maybe that counts. I'm a good catcher. Yeah. And you have to win to be. We really need to win. Game has too many rules. Uh, it goes to four innings, three outs, with ghost runners on base. If you swing, you are out. If the pitcher hits the chair, you're out. If the pitcher goes through the middle of the chair, you're out. Could it be? Could it be? It is out of here. Nah, it's just a walk. I don't know about you guys. I've never played with ball, never watched it, but seriously, what's with this chair? If the batter is hit by a pitch, he's out. The bases are loaded. Swing and a long walk, and there it is. A run walked in. Lebanese lefty Ryan Shamas comes in to get a bases loaded jam out of here. Uh, King Kyle's hot dogging a bit. Uh, he gets struck out. Called Laser in the bullpen. His mom wanted him to be a dentist. That didn't come true. His grandfather would throw six and stones at him in the yard, and he'd say, Another black guy, let's play with him. He strikes out the line and gets him through this tough, tough inning. Unfortunately, the tryhards found one hit in one of the least productive offensive performances I've witnessed. The lanky, Awkward yet oddly beautiful stretching delivery of this young Lebanese curler. There's a big future ahead of him. If he can learn how to hit. I'm playing Dylan, who beat me in tennis, and uh, that was a really tough match, and now we drew him again for ping pong. Um, he seems pretty good. I'm really tired. I'm hoping he's more tired, but I don't, I don't know how this is going to go. I have no idea. I was a lot more confident before I saw him play, but... Got a game from Ryan in tennis, and then he got me back at uh, Cornhole. So this is our rubber match right oh. here. See how it goes.
You <laughs> won! Let's go! The lucky ball. The lucky ball strikes. <laughs> Did you pick the lucky ball up? No, I'm, I'm gonna find it. Is it, it the, back? It's that ball, it's that ball. The lucky ball. I'm gonna take this back, I'm gonna sit on it, and it's gonna hatch into a beautiful egg. A little. <laughs> is very good at table tennis. Just, you know, just gotta show a bit of power down the The goal is to get to eight points. Well, I shouldn't have said that, now he's gonna crush me. the net and scare him a little bit and you saw he messed up his last serve he's not used to having a Canadian man just like attack the net like that so. whoever gets it closer to the bullseye that person goes first that's a fun oh, way to determine cool. okay Oh, I can't explain this one because I have no idea what the is okay. going on you got Wait, so you just play with <laughs> once you get the 20 even if you hit triple 18 or triple 19 you still have to hit 20 once you hit 20, you gotta hit two bullseyes. Red counts as two, green counts as one. Let's say you get all the way through and you hit two bullseyes, game's not over, the other person still has the last stop always. Wait, you just hit it? That's a double one, you fucking serious? The first? Okay, that's... <laughs> I'm on two. You're aiming for three. Last start on five. So this is a triple. No. Yeah. I hit it with my last dart, so I'm gonna go again, and I'm on five right now. On six. Last dart, on seven. This is similar to being slow rolled in poker. <laughs> is it? Last dart, on 13. I'm still at four. Last dart, on 15. Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> yeah, just watch him crush me. <laughs> Got a five. Last star. Oh, you get to continue. Last star. How does it feel? Look at how he's drinking the beer. <laughs> <laughs> There's definitely more velocity to your your approach. <laughs> I, I play the aggressive darts. Learned this in Lebanon. Last star. Hey, bro, he might hit you over there. I, I mean, I know he's trying. He's hunting the dartboard. <laughs> No. Oh, single? Uh, one bull, one, one bull's uh, quite clutch in these situations, so I, I nice. believe. Still on nine. That's, that's GG. Three. Well, you, you still get last up, so I'm going to keep getting more bullseyes in case you come all the way around the world. And oh. oh, okay, stop. <laughs> uh, oh, no, no, that's five. All right, so I have five bullseyes. <laughs> you just go nine all the way to 20, hit 20. Then hit four bullseyes, and then the game can continue. At the age of 12, my parents immigrated to Canada so that I can come here at the age of 29, right before my 30th, so I can accomplish this feat, beat Kane, and just like, he's, he's gonna stop doing the Vegas Olympics after this. This yeah. is when it all changes. No, no. No. Good game, my friend. Good game, man. <laughs> Thanks for coming to the Olympics. Olympics. a lot of fun, honestly. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm gonna join next year. Okay? Well, I'm more prepared. We'll be back next year, likely playing for a hundred thousand dollars. Question is, do you have what it takes to win it all?